How is it going, everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech, so we all take screenshots on our iPhones all the time. Sometimes every single day, right? But do you know that there are actually quite a lot of little tips, tricks, and hidden features inside the screenshot feature itself? Well, I'm going to show you all of them, and I do hope you love it. So, let's get started, and I'm going to open up Instagram and use this Instagram profile page as an example, of course, this is Danabal Tech on Instagram. So let's take a screenshot and let's take a look. So as I tap on the little screenshot, we'll have here a ton of information, very familiar interface, but let me show you everything you can do. So first things first, we have here the live text icon. So as you see here, you can tap on the little live text and it will automatically select every single text that you have in the screenshot. Uh, even if it's stacks inside another photo. So as you can see here, there's a little post here and there's stacks inside that post, we have text selected right there. So this is really, really smart in a really cool way to select text inside a screenshot. And of course, you can easily uh, tap and hold to select any of that text and do whatever you want with that text in a very easy way without having to manually copy. You can copy it just like that. And it goes much beyond that because live text is super smart and it detects links as well. So if you have any link on the screenshot, you can easily see here the link, tap on it, and then it just load that link. Of course, you kind of lose the screenshot. So let's come back here uh, to our Instagram and take the screenshot once again, just to get back at where we were, right? Uh, here again, live text. And of course, we have more stuff as well. As you can see here, more. As I tap on more, it selects every single format. So if you have dates, for example, you can easily uh, create events based on that date, on those dates. Um, this is, for example, temperature, if it has numbers, absolutely everything. And of course, you can easily convert and use that data however you want. Okay, so this is live text inside screenshots. Of course, you can tap on live text once again, and then you can tap on the little pencil right here at the top to get to the most familiar features and familiar tools that we have. Of course, we have pen, pencil, eraser, and everything, but let me show you a step further. So first, as we tap on the pen, for example, here, of course, we can adjust opacity and we can adjust the size of the stroke itself. But of course, if you tap here on color, you can choose the color in a ton of different ways. So you can choose based on this grid, on the spectrum, on sliders, so they can, you can choose perfectly. And you can even use this little icon right here to actually pick any color from inside the screenshot itself. So let me go ahead and move to this color, for example, this purple, I can let go. And as you can see, I have selected the color. So then I can close, for example, and now if I use the pen, I'm gonna use the color, which is this color right here. Now let's move on and let's say I wanna draw an arrow pointing here. So I'm gonna draw the arrow and it looks pretty bad, right? So I'm gonna undo it and I'm gonna do it once again, but I'm gonna keep holding after finish drawing it. Take a look. So I'm drawing the arrow and keep holding. And as you can see, it corrects it. It creates this perfect arrow. And this is really, really nice. If I undo it, of course, I can see how the arrow originally look. And if I go forward, I'll see the arrow corrected. And this will work for every single format. And for example, a circle, a square. So I really, really like this tool. So then you can easily draw objects and everything like that. And this works for all the others. So the pencil and everything, it always works. Here's the eraser, nothing special to show here, but let me show you this tool because I really like it. So as you can see, the arrow isn't really pointing to where I want it to. So I can use the select tool, I can circle it, now it's selected, and then I can move around my drawing because I have selected what I have drew. So then I can point perfectly here, and I really, really like this. Let's move on because you have the ruler and a lot of people have seen the ruler but don't really understand why you would want a ruler. But take a look. With two fingers, you can actually choose the angle. And let's say I want zero, so completely uh, horizontal. And I like to use a ruler when I, when I wanna highlight or when I wanna understrike something. For example, let's say I wanna have this portion here of the link and I wanna actually understrike it. So I can use the pencil, 
right, yeah, as you can see here, uh, the ruler is perfect, and then I can use it right here, so then perfectly where I am. So very, very useful as well if you have text and stuff like that, and you wanna actually uh, draw a line under any text or anything like that, you can use a ruler, very, very useful. Of course, on top of all those tools, we also have here the plus. And with the plus, we have a ton of stuff as well. For example, we have text, and as you can imagine, you can type anything on top of our screenshot. So if, as you double tap on text, you can say, for example, hello, okay? Hello, as you can see here, tap outside of it, tap on it once again, and then you can move it around to here, for example, as you can see, and then, of course, you can change colors, and then you can tap on the fonts icon and change the font as well, and the size of the font to whatever you want, and even orientation and everything like that. So you can easily use any kind of text in your screenshots. I like this and I use this a lot. Uh, at the bottom we have signature, and I really like this as well because you can use signatures on your screenshots. You can, I already have a signature as you can see, but you can add and remove them very easily. If I tap on add or remove, as you can see, I can remove this one that I already have, or I can create a new one tapping on plus, and then I can easily type here, for example, YouTube, YouTube. It looks really bad, right? <laughs> so then tap on done, for example, and now we have the YouTube signature right here in the middle. Let me move it around so you can see it a little bit better. There we go, YouTube. And then it'll always be there on your signatures you'll always have both. Now, you can tap on add or remove and easily remove that if you don't want it anymore. Tap on done and you're good. Let me actually now tap on the ruler once again to make it go away. And then I'm gonna tap on the plus once again. And let's talk about opacity and magnifier. And I really like to use both of them together. So if I tap on magnifier, as you can see, we have this magnifier here where you can choose anything. For example, I'm gonna put here on this highlight on my Instagram workouts. And here you can make it smaller or bigger. So uh, you can make the, the magnifier itself smaller or bigger. And with the other handle, with the green one, you can zoom in or zoom out. So very, very cool. As you can see right here, a ton of customization. And of course, I can tap on the plus once again and use opacity to make the rest of the screenshot more blurry, less, uh, less visible with this lighter right here to make more, to bring more attention to my magnifier here. So you can close that. And as you can see, there's a ton of stuff and everything here is customizable. So for example, uh, even the magnifier, as you can see, you can change the color of the ring. You can make the ring bigger or smaller. Everything is fully customizable, okay? On top of that, if you go ahead here and tap on plus once again, we have some presets, uh, some uh, like square, as you can see right there, and we have circle, uh, speech bubble and arrow as well. But as I showed you before, you can make those formats on your own with free drawing and holding at the end, okay? So you have the possibility as well. Now we are pretty much done here with this bottom part, with this bottom row, but of course we have to share after we're done. And how can we share it? So let me just tap here on the pencil once again, just to make it easier to see. And we have pretty much three things we can do after we're done. Of course, we can delete the screenshot, but that's not what we want. It'll just simply delete everything and throw it away. And we can also share or tap on done. If we tap on share, that's the best way when you wanna simply share it with somebody else. Maybe you don't want the screenshot, you don't wanna save the screenshot for yourself, you just wanna to send to somebody else. So then you can tap on share and easily share through WhatsApp, as you can see right here, or even other applications as well. And even of course, save to files and everything like that. So then you have this possibility. Keep in mind that you can also rename the screenshot, which is very, very useful. So if you tap on rename, this is very important if you wanna share this with somebody else and you wanna create a file name. So for example, I'm gonna put here Insta, okay? and submit. So as you see, it's Insta now. It's not screenshot in a crazy name, it's Insta. And this may be useful uh, when you're sharing with somebody else, as I mentioned, okay? So then you have this possibility right here. Uh, if you close, you also have the possibility to tap on done. 
And then you have a few options as well, safety photos. If, for example, you just wanna save for yourself, so you tap on safety photos. Uh, you can save to a quick note as well, which is useful, and you can even save to files. If this is a document or something, you may want to save to files, so then you can tap here and choose where you want to save to files. On top of that, you can copy and delete and delete. Delete, of course, is the same as this trash can. It's just delete and you're not going to save it. And copy and delete is really, really nice because you can simply tap on copy and delete. And as you tap on that, as you can see, the screenshot will go away, but it will be saved to your clipboard. So it's deleted, it's not on your photos, it's not on your files, nothing like that, but it's on your clipboard. And then you can easily paste anywhere you want. Like for example, I can leave here Instagram, I can open up WhatsApp, I can tap here, I can paste, and then as you can see, here's my screenshot, and I can send it, and that's it. So then I'm not gonna have the, a copy of the screenshot, it's not gonna be saved anywhere else, but I can sometimes just want to send to somebody and that's how you want to do it. So then that's it guys. That's literally everything you can do with screenshot on iPhone. As I just told you, there's a ton of stuff. There's a ton of features, a ton of little tips, tricks. And if you learned something, if it was helpful to you or interesting to you, please consider giving a like to this video, subscribe and little bell icon because I'm always bringing a ton of content right here on YouTube. So that's it, and I'll see you on the next video as usual. Bye bye guys.